Howdy caddies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been flat knackered this week, we've got heaps of cool stuff. Nice gold ring and some nice bits of silver, lovely perfume bottle. Nice little ivory sort of bracelet there. Ladies nine carat gold watch, heaps of coins. Nice little silver baby's rattle on a teether. Nice ivory chest pieces. More little sort of baby's rattles and things like that. More nice silver. Little miniature radio's cool. Nice little shell household oil tin. And that little sort of box there is a personal spittoon. Great little bit. Blokey gear, watches. Nice little torch, wind cigarette lighter. More silver, more silver, more silver. Got some cool sort of record plays. A nice little one, little national. Stereophonic. Nice little clock radio, real 1950s. Cool little sort of 70s mushroom lamp. Have a nice little portable stereo system, another one there, with the Teen Time badge on the front. Big sort of stainless steel stand underneath it all. Nice little Art Deco sort of table. Little Deco smoke, um, auto trolley. It's a cute little sort of pine table with the carved top and the sides. Have a nice little portable stereo in there as well. Lots of nice sort of costume jewellery, ladies accessories, bags, Liberty shawl. Spoons, little compact radio, which is pretty cool. All nice 1930s crocodile skin bags and stuff. Beaded bags. These two here, really nice little 1930s ones. More stuff down in the cabinet here as well. All sort of vintage lady shoes and bags. More accessories, costume jewellery. Sort of gents armbands and stuff. Some cool books as well. Alright. What else we got? DVDs. Oil cans. Looks like a slouch hat with some furs, some cool jackets, some pretty cool men's shirts, glow weave silken touch. What else have we got? Nice little pearl snap. Other cool sort of bad 70s ones. Cool big sort of military parachute jackets, got the label on it. Fear Factory shirt and Santa Cruz as well. It's a nice little mink coat over the back also. Nano rugs and knitted shawls and things. Big Laney quad box with a nice Yamaha keyboard. A little lot there with the photograph and the lamp and the pedestal. Boots, ties. Maria Otes. Cool guitar and a nice little retro print. Australian pottery. Glass. Big lot of sort of DVDs and gaming sort of gear. A lot of sort of blokey stuff and tools. What else have we got? Clothing. Look at these, green furry snakeskin toed boots. They're pretty new, they're pretty bad. Lights, books, shoe forms, more books. There's a nice couple of ones here on Ellis Rowan. Good old Arthur Streeton. Nice Australian art reference books in amongst. Uh, tools and stuff. Mixed lots of pottery and gear. Sort of army boots and sort of hiking backpacks and stuff. What else have we got? This is a nice lot. Pears print. It's got a little bit of damage, which is a shame. Plus a nice pair of sort of Edwardian oil paintings to go either side of the fireplace. What else have we got? Sort of outdoor stuff. Beach umbrella. It's a cool big spotlighty sort of things. More boxes of books. A nice box of china and pottery and stuff. A lot of tools. There's some Sid's chrome spanners in here. What else have we got? Light fitting. EP. Cool old sort of rally bike, big lots of tools and stuff, roller skates and sort of tattoo gear and china, all sorts of stuff, old holding parts, big cutlery set, cricket stuff, alright, some more sort of videos, karate stuff, Monty Python and other books, yeah, Harry Potter books. A big lot of videos, some cool stuff. Doctor Strangelove, Caligula, Clockwork Orange, Bugged, Blade Runner, Blues Brothers, Flying Tigers, Pulp Fiction, Dementia 13, The Blue Max, Rock and Roll High School. There you go, some cool stuff. Demented Death Farm Massacre, one of my personal favourites. Alright, big lot of sort of china and stuff down the bottom. Domestic gear, big lot of costume jewellery. China and stuff again, some old cassette tapes with some cool melamine barbecue plates, with a lot of pretty China Wedgwood and other gear in amongst. 
Nice big lots of linen. Some cool little stools. I love the sort of wear on that little footrest. And buttocks. Nice little sort of gramophone cabinet. I think it's got the gramophone little turntable in the top there. Labcraft turntable. What else we've got microphone stands and a mic. More books in China. More books, linen. It's an interesting little lot with sort of funny teapot lids and the Claris Cliff Bazaar terrain lid. Other bits and bobs in amongst radios, camera gear, a big copper with old car parts and stuff in it. What else have we got? Nice old painting by Vernon Jones. This is a nice sort of little Australian school, sort of little naive thing there of the boat, the Runic. A um, little Faye Smith oil painting's really nice. What else have we got? F or P. Scott Williams, little etching. He used to work a bit with Victor Cobb. These are nice little Dutch etchings. You just haven't been able to make out the artist. Nice little pair of them. Now, so we've got Louisa Ann Meredith chromolithographs. Really nice. Native Australian uh, Tasmanian flowers. Philip Luton watercolours. Pretty sort of nice as well. Typical of his work. Linen. Loose cards and sort of empty soft card and other albums. Radios. Some sort of domestic pottery. Big Tivoli sort of wooden signs. Pretty cool. It's a nice little lot with the mulga wood and some tins. The Edwards little soup tins are ripper. Underside of the lids in great condition. New South Wales Railway sort of reproduction luggage rack. Here's a reproduction big sort of brass and copper diver's helmet. Nice little repop lamp. Pretty cool as all the big velvet wall hang of the lions. Noataki. Some nice lamps. Victorian china. Reproduction Harley gear. Little lot of blokey stuff. Nice little lot of glass and gear there. Larrant and Graham at Woodford Reserve Distillers Select Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. More radios. A little ivory and other elephants. Big Frank Mincone um, street art or graffiti paintings there. More sort of beer and scotch. Ericsson phone. Nice little MCP Oz pottery vase. Pierre Cardin lamp. Radios. Bike lamps. Fishing reels, a lot of sort of Japanesey stuff down the bottom. This is one of my favourite bits. A little Japanese figure of a skunk that's got last place champ. <laughs> it's fantastic. Nice old bell box, part telephone stuff. He's cool, the novelty radio there with some other bits. Oz pottery, some side stuff, the big eater potato crips, tin as a ripper. Some more nice little radios. Pretty china, pretty china. Interesting bits of Oz pottery. They're both damaged. There's another bit that's not damaged by the same maker, but none of them are marked. Royal Albert, Japanese. This is a pretty cool bit. The old sort of car heater there from the 1960s, 70s. Sort of aftermarket thing. Brand spanking new. Carnival glass with some other bits in the box. Nice light shades. Trudy Fry. What else have we got? Group lots, sort of mixed bits and bobs. I like this little sort of metal... Little stand there, it just needs a little glass bit inside it. Lantana Avenue street sign, art glass ashtrays. It's like a little Trobri and Island spatula or something. Nice uh, record player arm. Terra Ceramics little plaque over the back. Also got glass, some gunpowder tins, retro. A group lot with some nice levels with lots of pottery. Beryl Armstrong in amongst with little sort of gum nuts and gum leaves. What else have we got? Duke Street sign. More Victorian. Peg Maltby. Nice little couple of bits of Wembley there. Got some bloody good pottery coming up in a minute. What else have we got? Art glass, boomerangs, a leather Cobb Co. top hat, and an Italian glass uh, Stetson sort of hat. Reproduction bronze. Nice little lot of china. Nice art glass. Clossonne. Uh, I think William Drew plate. A couple of Royal Ducks deers. A big Italian figure of Sinbad or someone like that over the back. More nice bits of pottery. Japanese teapot, pen folds, nice little carriage lamp. A couple of nice Dalton cups and saucers. It's a nice little group right here of Martin Boyd pottery. Nice clock, another nice lamp. We've got down the bottom here, pretty cool little sort of train destination roll there from the countertop of a station or something. 
Love the old Victorian wicker basket, the bell, which works. <laughs> Big English art pottery jardinier. What else have we got? Carnival glass. Two bits over the back there. Uh, signed Carl Cooper. Undecorated. This is a little Carl Cooper dish. Got a couple of chips out of it. Um, these are AMB, and I think one of them is also marked Percival AMB. Lovely deco light shade. Um, uranium glass piano feet. Royal Ducks Angel Fish. Carl Cooper, again, have a nice little bit here of Martin Boyd. Nice little sort of Art Deco French Bakelite clock. There's the Australian Pottery Vase with the twin handles, no marks. Deco, little Mount Fuji cabinet plates from a shipping line. Lovely big Wedgwood um, cheese dish there, cheese dome. What else have we got? Another lovely little bit of Carl Cooper. Sylvia Halpern. Uranium glass, uranium glass, Crown Devon, and some more really nice bits here of Carl Cooper. That one with the stingrays, that one with the people, that one with looks to be a crocodile. All right. We've got a fantastic um, Percival sign on the back, AMB JP, so John Percival. Uh, hand painted the landscape there with the kangaroos and black boys, which looks like it's by Neil Douglas, I'd be thinking. All right, no signature of Neil Douglas, but it's a cracker of a bit. Nice little remued vase with the gum nut and gum leaf, kind of like the bronze sphinxes and the sort of Lert style glasses over the back vases. It's an unusual little bit of Moorcroft. This is my favourite bit of Carl Cooper with all the little sort of people figures running around. And another one over the back there as well. So we've got some really nice bits of Carl Cooper this week. The Percival Boyd Neil Douglas plate, remued. That's yeah, some bloody good shit. Hopefully we see you guys on Thursday night. It's going to be a good sale.